Good morning, LiveWeatherBlogs.com meteorologist Bob Acarfio with today's tropical update for Sunday, September 12, 2010. Got a few things to talk about today, so let's get right to it. We have our fourth hurricane of the season, Hurricane Igor. Uh, maximum sustained winds 80 miles an hour. This is as of 5 a.m. A movement to the west at 18. So here we go. Here's Igor right here. It should continue on. It's pretty much its west movement for the next two, two days, maybe three days. Then it's going to start finding that break in the subtropical ridge and start heading west-northwest. So good news for the islands. Again, this is not going to affect you guys. Um, again, high seas, um, rough surf, that's going to be your big thing. Almost like what happened when Danielle passed by, you guys. Um, definitely become, could become a major hurricane probably in about, I'd say, maybe 24, 48 hours. Maybe less than that. It's looking really good today so far. And it just has low shear and warm waters ahead of it. Um, so then, again, definitely a major hurricane, maybe a little sooner than the National Hurricane Center is predicting. And then it'll start catching that break around 55, 60 west, and then start moving off to the west-northwest. And then, again, it's going to set its sights somewhere near Bermuda in the long term. Uh, models do have, have shifted a little west today, this morning. So we're more focused on Bermuda and just west of Bermuda, which is not good for them at all. You want to see this move east and... Uh, like a Danielle track. So still, this is still about a week away from Bermuda. Um, so um, models are still gonna be shifting a little bit here. My, my get, I've said this all along since Igor's come off the coast of Africa. This is coming near Bermuda somewhere. Uh, East Coast is gonna be protected. This will not affect you guys along the East Coast. Uh, our friends in Canada, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, yeah, still gotta keep your eye on this one. If it does sh um, shift west of Bermuda, you guys could be getting this one pretty close so we'll have to watch for that so I'm thinking right now Bermuda maybe a little west of Bermuda somewhere in this range um, it's looking like uh, Igor might come hopefully we'll kind of shift a little east but um kind of the troughiness that's coming that's going to be off the east coast this broad trough isn't as sharp as we would like it for that nice big hook so it's looking like it's going to come thinking maybe just west of Bermuda right now but again in the long term we'll kind of tighten up this forecast as we go along and again here's uh, Earl this morning I'm um, looking really good on the satellite nice nice developed eye right now that dry air that was affecting it uh, that got into its circulation to the north that kind of kind of had a steady state for most of the day yesterday is gone that has uh, got out of the circulation center of the eye nice eye wall right now so and again, 29 centigrade right here. This is where the waters really start heating up. So low shear, warm waters. That's what I'm thinking by tomorrow, um, we could almost see a major hurricane in this area right here. Definitely 24, 36 hours major hurricane status. And again, looking at the bigger picture here, just want to show you this broad trough of, of low pressure off the east coast. We have one here, another reinforcing shot here. So this is going to keep the east coast protected. Good news for us here along the East Coast. Igor is not going to be affecting you. Uh, this is also protecting the, the island chain right in here. Northern Leewards, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands. So again, good news. This pattern has been great so far. Let's hope it continues. And again, that dry air is kind of mixed out of Igor now. Uh, again, shear. Again, looking great for Igor. Low shear ahead of it. We have this nice upper ridge building over over it and as it moves the next 24 as you see these forecast points 24 36 48 hours eventually as Igor starts moving west northwest he might start getting some westerly shear as it gets closer to that trough so um, we crank it up to a major and then again just like Danielle did kind of that slow decrease uh, back down as it heads towards Bermuda but it could still be a very formidable hurricane as it passes near Bermuda in about a week and again, here's just showing you the steering currents. Here's that broad, and one trough here, another reinforcing trough here, and this is this broad trough right in here. Um, I'm going to come back to this when we talk about Invest 92L, and I'll show you why this trough is actually good news for the Gulf Coast, and you almost could see why, a little hint right there. Uh, Mimic, look at this. I mean, this is from University of Wisconsin, and you could see that eye wall just getting well established into this morning. Yesterday, you know, late last night, and then there it goes. So nice, uh, well-defined hurricane right now. And again, the um, this is the tracks. Again, still zeroed in. Bermuda's right under the consensus right here. 
we do have a couple of them starting to shift a little west of Bermuda. Again, no danger for the East Coast. The East Coast is protected right now. This isn't going to come all the way west. There's just no way with this pattern. But for Bermuda and then possibly Canada up the road, uh, we have to watch for a little shift west. Um, this is UK Met here in the um, blue squares. And then we have uh, Canadian and no gaps. So every, those are a little west. And the Euro, which I'll show you in a minute, has also shifted west. Um, the eastern outlier right now is actually the GFDL model, which brings it um, east of Bermuda. So there we go. That's the uh, spread in the models right now. Not a bad spread for an extended uh, seven-day forecast. So still looking pretty confident on this. Like I said, they might want to shift a little west, which would take it just west of Bermuda. And that could put Bermuda on the eastern side. This is going to be a pretty large hurricane. So we don't want to see that. And again, GFDL, as I showed you, this was the most eastern... Uh, model right now going east of Bermuda. GFS right now this is about seven days out this is for Saturday night going right over Bermuda and then by early um, by about eight nine days from now not next week but the week after Monday Tuesday south of uh, Canada right here. The Euro again farther west than the GFS right now again this is about Saturday night about six seven days out and then going west of Bermuda now and then actually the Euro is a little slower than a GFS I don't know about the speed once these systems get up to here they start cranking right out so probably not good on this speed here with the Euro a little too slow all right what else do we have that's Igor we have invest 92 oh boy we've been watching this one um, this is one of those um, I've seen these happen before a lot of hype um, but nothing ever happens well so far that's been the case Perfect upper level conditions for this system. I don't think you could ask for anything better. Waters are warm enough. But what, what, we, what we don't have, some good spin. I mean, it's kind of there. Looked like yesterday, maybe. Even now this morning, eh. Not the greatest of spin. Convection starting to blow up again, so we'll have to see. But the spin just really isn't there that we need for this system right now. Um, good news for Jamaica, because... Yeah, you'll be getting some of this rainfall by uh, later tomorrow, Tuesday. But since this hasn't developed yet, you're looking pretty good for right now. Um, again, rainfall will overspread um, Hispaniola today, Dominican Republic, Haiti. Maybe some flooding there, so we'll have to watch for that. But so far, good news for Jamaica that this isn't developing. National Hurricane Center gives us about 50%. I guess that's about right, 40, 50, hey. We'll just have to watch this one down the road. Um, global models aren't really that excited. Um, if we go back to the Euro here, you could see by next weekend, it does have it in the, crossed over the Yucatan into the Bay of Campeche. So it does kind of develop it eventually. Again, long way off, have to watch it. None of the other global models really have it. Um, and if we look at the models now, the GF, well, first let's look at the wind shear. Again, like I showed you, upper high over, perfect upper level conditions. Um, and then again, vorticity, eh, kind of there. I mean, not terrible. It's not a very well-stacked system right now. So again, it has some work to do, and we'll see if it could really get going or not. Um, like I said, the only thing it really needs is to get some good spin going, and we just haven't seen that yet. And then if we look over, that was my hint before, if we look over at the steering currents, this is going to move west. It even may dip a little south of west as it gets to the western uh, Caribbean because we have this big protector of high pressure. And like I was telling you before, my hint was, boy, if this pattern continues where we have broad troughing over the Western Atlantic, this is gonna protect us here in the Gulf Coast by having high pressure right in this section. So, I mean, we want it to cool down. I know us here in Florida, we're done with the heat, but this kind of keeps it kind of warm still, but it's gonna protect us. It's our protector from the, from the storms. And hopefully this pattern will just sit here for another month. Boy, wouldn't that be great? Um, but this will keep, um, if anything does develop down here in the Caribbean, we'll keep it away from the Gulf Coast and Texas as well. So this could be a Yucatan-Belize uh, problem um, by, later, by later in the week if it does develop. All right, let's get back to where we were before. And um, we were showing you vorticity again, not too good. And then again, the models, basically west. And like I said, this could even bend a little west-southwest towards the end here. But that's really where it's looking like it. If it does develop, it could make landfall. This was the GFDL. Very weak still GFDL. Actually, it was excited about this system yesterday, but it's kind of losing it a little bit now. So, again, we'll see what happens down the road. But, 
So since that's probably not going to become Julia, I think we're going to have Julia right out here. Um, this is about ready to become a tropical depression, maybe even go right to Tropical Storm Julia. I, National Hurricane Center should have um, um, advisories initiating on this probably at 11 a.m., I would believe, and um, should have some tropical storm warnings out for the Cape Verde. This is going to move right over the Cape Verde Islands. And again, the tracks for this one is out to sea. We should have a... Um, another trough out here that's just going to swing this up and out. So we shouldn't really see this um, getting anywhere close to land. It'll just be um, for shipping interest, uh, maybe Azor Islands down the road. But again, that's what we're going to see here. Could it become a hurricane? Possibly. I mean, the waters do get a little cooler up here, but so we'll have to see if we can get a Hurricane Julia out of this one. Um, hurricane Hunters, I'm um, getting back to uh, Invest 90, 92L. Um, hurricane Hunters, we're supposed to go out in this system today. Um, I don't know if they will or not. We'll have to see about that. Well, that's it for today. Um, I will have another tropical update for you guys tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening. Uh, stay tuned to liveweatherblogs.com for all your latest weather information. Have a good day.